What started as a bad-tempered protest against UKIP by a Scottish independence group yesterday has now turned into a scrap between two of the UK's most accomplished political operators. On his return to Kent today, Nigel Farage gave me his view of the protesters. They were absolutely vicious, racist and nasty about England, especially about me. Um, their behaviour was intimidatory, it was nasty, uh, you know, the police had to be called. And I really think that it's incumbent upon Alex Salmond to condemn this type of behaviour, which he refuses to do. Indeed, Alex Salmond says it was just a student protest. The man who wants Scotland out of Britain has no sympathy for the man who wants Britain out of Europe. It'd be a great mistake to take anything Mr Farage says about Scotland and the Scottish people with any degree of seriousness. This is someone who knows absolutely nothing about Scotland. Two people were arrested yesterday and Mr Farage was forced to abandon his taxi. He still seemed out of sorts in a radio interview this morning. And remind me how many elected representatives you have in Scotland? Absolutely none, but rather more than the BBC do. You know, we could have had this interview in England a couple of years, although I wouldn't have met with such hatred as I'm getting from your questions. And frankly, I've had enough of this interview. Goodbye. Yesterday's protest sounded anti-British. There were obscene chants about the Union Jack. But was it, as Mr Farage believes, anti-English? No, say the organisers. This is a preposterous allegation made by Mr Farage. Um, there were various people, English people in the demonstration yesterday. Um, we work, um, there were members of the Radical Independence Campaign who are English. Whatever the motivation of those yelling at Mr Farage to go back to England, they did it so aggressively that he had to make the first part of that journey in a police van. Carl Dinan, ITV News.